Hello, good morning. Welcome to another edition of AM Whiskey Reviews. I am your host, Ben Rosenthal. Uh, I just have a, a brief announcement before we start. Um, we are rapidly approaching uh, my uh, 60th episode, uh, our 60th episode, because this isn't just me, this is you and me. Uh, and, and, uh, you know, I am, I am so thrilled at the way this channel has grown. Um, you know, mind you, it, it has grown much in the way that say a, uh, a redwood in a very, very remote forest has grown a forest that, uh, you know, has, has not been, uh, trespassed by human feet uh ever uh maybe a low flying helicopter has caught a glimpse of this giant beautiful redwood um uh you know like this is just a, a largely uninhabited place kind of rugged territory uh but not even a not even a remote tribe not even a, a sort of an indigenous element has ever been found in this forest but the tree is growing it's growing uh and uh, we are growing. Um, so anybody with a low-flying copter, a metaphorical low-flying copter, please come and snatch a look at, at this uh, beautiful redwood or this sequoia tree, uh, you know, uh, that is growing uh, in, uh, in, a, in a very remote forest. Um, Today, I, I do have another whiskey to review. It is a whiskey called Gin, uh, and it is a, another small bottle. Uh, listen, um, we swing how we swing, you know? I mean, it, it, it's catch as catch can, uh, and, and the gin in this bottle is no different from the gin that would be in a large bottle. I don't see why, you know, I mean, you know, sometimes size does matter. Not in the case of this. It's the same stuff. You know, with a cigar, it's different. Like, a, 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 a you know, the, the whatever tobacco fillers they put in a, in a full-size cigar. It's a, a thing called long filler. And that is a very different experience for those who choose to, to put those turds in their mouth. Uh, the, 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 that is a... That's a different experience than, say, a little cigarillo, which is, you know, it's just it doesn't have the same potential, you know. It's a, in any case, that's beside the point. Now, this is um, this is Tanqueray imported gin. Okay, uh, I may have reviewed this in the past. Obviously, my memory uh, is is somewhat affected by the reviews themselves. Uh, the reviews are a sort of uh, some might say a kind of feedback loop in terms of uh, uh, of my memory capacity. Uh, so I may have reviewed this more than once. I'm, I'm really not sure at this point, potentially five, six, a dozen times I've reviewed the same whiskeys before. I mean, so why not this? Um, but uh, so uh, it's London Dry Gin. Now, uh, this is the kind of uh, this is the kind of drink where you know you 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 live on seventeen Cherry Tree Lane and it's Edwardian uh, uh, England and you 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 know you got a chimney and and the nanny is they, they, they can in the nanny because she's just not nah, she's no fun and you keep running away you know you're a kid and you can the nanny and you. Your dad puts out an ad for a new nanny, and he wants like a stern nanny. But you and your sister, you don't want a stern nanny. I mean, who the hell needs, you know, like, well, you, you, you don't you don't want somebody cracking a whip on you all day. So you put out an ad for like a kinder, gentler nanny, right? But she, sometimes your, your dad finds the, finds the ad, he rips it up, he rips it to shreds, and he throws it in the fireplace because that's what dads do. You know, they throw things in the fireplace, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, prenuptial agreements, they'll just chuck them in the fireplace, you know, which is where they, where they belong. Um, but, but uh, in any case, yeah, so he throws it in the fireplace and you're like, oh God, uh, but it goes up through the chimney because, you know, in Edwardia in London, everybody had a chimney and, uh, and lo and behold, like, you know, you're really kind of sweating it because 
you know, around this time, there were a lot of people, they called them penny pinters. Gin was very cheap. Nobody had a lot of money and nobody had a lot of pounds, a lot of quid to go around and, uh, or to go round, as they tend to say in, in, in England. And so people would be drinking pints of this shit. Um, it, but, but so, you know, you're home and then, and then this, this woman shows up on a, on a, on an umbrella. She's riding on an umbrella and she's all that you ever wanted in a nanny. I mean, she's just awesome. She's great. Maybe she'll show you your, her uh, tits if you're lucky, you know, sometimes she'll, Wah! that's the kind of nanny she is, right? Uh, she just like rip open the crinoline, uh, 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 brassiere and just, just, you know, here they are. Look at them, little Charlie or whatever the, you know, uh, and uh, uh, she's, this is a great nanny and she's got this friend and the friend talks like drops his eye. Oh, I, 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 like, I, I, you know, I, he talks like uh, kind of like Johnny Rotten, but he's friendlier looking. And uh, and and he he's got all kinds of odd jobs that he does. And eventually he takes you up to the rooftop and you're dancing around with his friends and they all they're all chimney sweeps and. They got like the the ash is caked all over their faces, and um, you know they're they're playing truth or dare up there, and 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 they're singing songs with words that they're inventing. They're like, hey, I dare you to invent a song that'll drive me up the fucking wall. And then says, oh yeah, yeah, I'll invent a word, and it's like super cala fragilistic, something like that. And and that's that's you know. You're you're in that situation, and uh, that's where people were drinking a lot of this stuff. They were drinking a lot of stuff like this back then, with with the woman on the umbrella and the chimney sweep, and you know the rooftop decadence and the invented words. You know that's 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 what this what what I think of, and what what that's. You know that's that's this gin. That's this gin. Um, uh, I I uh, I'm gonna try it. Oh God! They make these things so hard to open. Um, yeah. No, oh, it's delicious. It's uh, yeah. It's 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 uh, it's definitely gin. It's gin. Uh, what really, what, what more is there to say? Except, I mean, what would I pair this with? Uh, I don't know, for some, if I would pair this with, you're online, you're online, you're in the waiting area, you're in sort of an anteroom, uh, to the main office, it's a difficult job to get, and you're sitting there, and you're sitting next to some guy named Torkelson. His name is Torkelson, he's very skinny, and his, he, he keeps crossing and uncrossing his legs nervously, like he just... He, he just, he's, his whole body is shaking, his, his leg is shaking, his like foot is just shaking, and he's just really nervous, and his name is Torkelson, and he, he needs this job for some reason, he just really needs this job, and, and Torkelson is driving you up the wall because you yourself are nervous and want this job, and he is only bearing out how nervous you are. He is projecting his nervousness onto you. Uh, again, we're in another feedback loop situation here. And, and, you know, Torkelson is just, he's just shaking his leg and, you know, he's like, do you want this job as much as I do? And you're like, yeah, yeah, I probably do. Yeah. You know, and he just won't shut up. Uh, and he's like, how about those Knicks, eh? Like he's, he's almost broadcasting. He's almost, he's almost, uh, you know, telegraphing, semaphoring, symbolizing his own, his own anxiety as a sort of performance for you and because he won't shut up and he's just so nervous about this job. Uh, and that's when, you know, th that would be a great time to pull this out, okay? And, um, uh, you know, you give this to Torkelson and you say, hey, calm down, please, come on, just, just, just take it, man, it'll help, you know? And, and um, so you give that to him. Now, if that doesn't work, then you just pick Torkelson up and you, you bring him to the, uh, the bathroom in the hallway and you lock him in the bathroom and then you go to your own interview and you forget that he existed. Um, you know, uh, that, that would be sort of, I would pair this with a nervous guy named Torkelson who desperately, desperately needs to land a job that you yourself are also trying to land. 
uh, that would be what I would pair the Tanqueray Gin with. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, I look forward to continuing to grow together. Uh, and uh, onward and upward to number 60, over and out.